Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Sun Please Stocks and today I'm going to talk about Dishman Carborundum whether you should buy the stock at these levels or avoid it so let's get started first of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position or any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about before I talk about Dishman Carbogen, here's my request that kindly support me on Patreon and once you do that it will help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions in greater detail. Once you get the $10 membership, you'll have access to my portfolio, my watch list and a number of podcasts that I put up on short term, medium term calls on stocks and discussing about stocks and markets. For detailed market or company talk, you can directly email me and we can work things out. Now about the company, uh, acquired by Dishman Group in 2006, Dishman Carbogen is a leading service provider to pharmaceutical companies providing drug development and commercialization services, have clients globally and it is the part of the Dishman Group and is giving a lot of revenues to the company. The market cap of the company is around 1200 crores. If you look at the financials, uh, then uh, the December numbers have not been that great. So sales have uh, went down by nearly 15%. Profit dropped. Uh, profit dropped quite quite some time. So it was 32 crores. It dropped to 16 crores. Uh, I cannot measure that uh, probably on on the dropping feature, but. Uh, uh, minus 16 crores versus 32 crores debt has reduced there have been high other expenses and let's see how numbers would prevail in march and june and then only uh, you'll understand or uh, we'll understand as to how the numbers are looking uh, whether they are looking up or not margins are low at four percent even operating profit margin of 17 percent does not seem a top class If you look at the performance, then stock is down 52% since the August 2020 level. So nothing to do with Feb March, even Feb March it was down and today it's down. It has not performed that well. The bottom line uh, that has, uh, you can say, decreased has really hurt the company badly and only when the number starts improving that high net worth individuals and more investors will look at the company and institutional investors and promoter holding combined is around 85 percent which is pretty good uh 15 percent free float but but the company has to come out with very good numbers otherwise uh we could be in uh, real jeopardy with with the uh, stock and it won't be able to perform at the same levels also return ratios are not that great so when you look at across sectors there are companies with 40 50 60 percent uh, opm operating profit margins and people are looking for such companies they, they don't have restrictions of just investing in particular pharma sector or in a fund etc they'll look at all sectors whatsoever and pick the best and we as retail investors have that advantage that is probably the biggest advantage that retail investors have and we should abide by that and and pick the best of the stocks uh, that we have irrespective of the sector we are investing in uh, low return ratios uh, sales growth is firm but uh, but bottom line is not that great so profits need to be consistent for we to look at the company in a greater uh, detail if you look at the technicals uh, of the stock then very weak on charts currently at all time low or at very low levels 200 EMA is around 148 better options are available in the same sector and price tells a lot of story so rather than getting into Dishman Carbogen one can look at larger pharma companies I've talked about it many times you can look at my uh, video on the my pharma picks you can look at healthcare picks if you want to be in similar sectors uh, diagnostic companies uh, biotech companies there, there are many other companies that are Lister, rather than just getting into mid or small cap pharma I've, I've always been a fan of buying top quality rather than looking at market caps etc so look at top quality companies invest and make money even if you make less it's better to invest into top quality companies rather than looking to make huge amount of money and then losing out 30 40 50 percent 
so what needs to be done avoid at all cost I, I don't think this this can be bought but if you buy really then have a good long-term time horizon and and do a thorough research as to uh, if the company is going to turn around and anything else but at this point of time looking primus f fessy on the numbers doesn't look like that the company would do uh, really well let numbers be good so two three quarters of very good numbers even if we have to buy buy 50 70 80 percent higher it's okay we'll be sure of further gains going forward so it stock needs to turn bullish on technically also to buy for short term so you have to remember that you just cannot buy some stock that it is down so much so let's buy it will go up it doesn't work like that let margins improve and have only five percent holding into such stocks so this is my video on Dishman Carbogen. Uh, please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you can get my video straight away when I post it. Thanks a lot for watching.